What's up? Welcome to lesson four of my jQuery fundamentals course. If you've been enjoying this course, please hit that subscribe button to help support this channel. In today's lesson, we're going to cover how to build this interaction using everything we learned from the course so far. This is a CMS collection based uh, with position sticky and let's dive right in. So to start off, we need to set up our collection list. And how I usually set this up when building with native Webflow interactions is to have one collection list, have the image inside the collection item, and position the image absolute to the right corner of the screen. But in this case, we can't do that because the image needs to be positioned sticky while we scroll past the list. What we're going to do instead is have two collection lists, each pulling from the same set of items, sorted in the same orders. One's going to contain all of our cards, and the other will contain all of our images. We need the images all to be directly on top of each other, so we'll grab the collection image and set it position absolute to cover its full parent. We're going to create our animation by adding and removing the combo class current from all of our items. So for instance, these grid cards will probably start by turning the opacity on the text down pretty far, and then we'll leave our CSS transition at 400 milliseconds. We'll add a combo class of current, and that class is just going to turn the opacity all the way up on our items. Now we can remove that class. For our image that's inside of our grid item, we're going to want to start off by applying a transform that's going to scale, and we're going to unlock the aspect ratio and scale this field by 1.2 so it stretches out the image like that. And then we're going to anchor its transform origin to the top. And whenever we add the combo class of current to this item, we're just going to change the scale back to one. So the image will start off like this. And then when we add the class on, it'll scale back to its original state. The parent item here has the overflow of hidden to crop off the image. And for this, we're actually going to want to start by applying a transform of move, and we're going to move it down by 4 EM. We're also going to want to turn the opacity all the way down. And then when we add the combo class of current, we're going to turn the opacity all the way up and move it back up to 0 EM. And then we can remove that class. We also want to apply transitions, but we want the opacity to happen really quick. So for the opacity, we'll set the duration to 100 milliseconds. But for our actual transform, we're going to set it to 400 milliseconds. And now when we add that class on, the image slides up into place. When we initially start off on page load, we want only the first item in this list to have that combo class of current to highlight the text. So what we're going to do is copy the class of that item, head over to our jQuery builder. Our trigger type is going to be on page load. So we're setting our initial states and our target class is going to be the card item and we'll traverse to an EQ of zero, which means we're getting the first card item in our collection list. And then we're going to add a class to it called current that we created in Webflow. And then we'll also create a new item. And here we want to basically go ahead and get the grid item here that holds the photo. So this will be our target class. And then actually let's traverse to an EQ of zero on this one as well. So we're getting the first one. And then we're adding a class only to the first one of current. And then we'll create one more item. And this time we're getting the image that's currently stretched in here. And we're going to make that our target class. We're going to get only the first image. And then we're going to add the class to it of current. So all these are our initial states. We're setting everything up the way it needs to be on page load. So we're going to go ahead and add a comment uh, called page load for this one so we know what's going on. And we'll copy this and we'll head over to our page settings, scroll down to the bottom, and create open and closing script tags just like this. And then inside those tags, we can paste all of our code. And then we can save and publish to check it out. So when we refresh the page, now with our new code in, we're seeing the first text is being highlighted here, and the first image is being featured here. Next, let's work on the hover states for these titles. Let's copy the class of our grid card, head over to our jQuery builder, and our trigger is going to be on hover in of any of the grid cards. Anytime we hover over a grid card, our target is going to be the trigger element. So we're going to get the grid card we hovered over, and then we're simply going to add a class to it of current. Now if we copy this code, on the live site we'll notice any grid card we hover over is getting that class of current. The problem is it's not removing that class of current from the other grid cards. To fix this we'll just create one more step. We'll create a new item and then we're going to target the class of current. So any element with that class of current 
the action we're going to do is remove a class of current from that element. Now currently, anytime we hover over the grid card, we're adding the class of current to the grid card and then removing it from all of them. So we'll never see the one we hovered over have this class. But if we just move this step up, now we'll remove the class from all the existing cards first before adding the class to the one we just hovered over. If we copy this code, now on page load, our first cards highlight it. And anytime we hover over one of these cards, it's removing that class of current, not only from the card itself, but also from the images on this side. Next, anytime we hover over one of these grid cards, we wanna find out which card we hovered over and add the class of current to the corresponding image. So say we were to hover over the third collection item in this list, we'd wanna get the third collection image in this list and add the class of current to it. We'll go ahead and create a new item and then we'll set our target to be the trigger element. What we wanna find out is what number is the grid card we hovered over. Maybe it's the third card in the list or the fourth card in the list. To do this, we can set our traverse to option to index. Index is gonna return the number of the item we hovered over. Right now, the item we hovered over doesn't have any siblings. It's a grid card inside of our collection item. The collection item is the element with all the siblings. So what we actually need to find is the number on this link block's parent, the grid item. So we'll copy the class of our grid item, head back over to our jQuery builder, Anytime we hover over one of our link blocks, our grid cards, we're gonna get the link block we hovered over. Then we're gonna get the parent, which is the collection item, and we're gonna get the number of that collection item. Next, we just need to save that number in a variable so we can use it later. We'll call this variable myIndex. Finally, we can use that number to get the correct collection item in this list. So we'll copy the class of this collection item. We'll create a new step in our jQuery builder. Our target element will be the collection items containing the images. We're gonna traverse 10 EQ, and instead of getting the first or second or however many collection item image, we're gonna apply the variable we created above called myIndex. Once we have that, we can add a class to that item called current. Now we hover over our grid card. We get the parent of that grid card, which is the entire item. We get the number of that item and save it in an index. Then we get all of our image items and we find only the one that matches the number of the card we hovered over and we add a class to that. We'll create one more step to do the same for the photo inside our collection item. This one will be grid image. We'll traverse 10 EQ of my index and for our action, we'll add a class of current. Now, if we copy all this code, we can head to our page settings, closing body tag section, and paste in our hover state. Now we can save and publish and check it out on the live site. On the live site, the first text and first image is highlighted by default. If we hover over any one of these, it adds that class of current to the correct card, to the correct collection item on this side, and to the correct image inside of that card, all at the same time. I hope you've enjoyed lesson four, and I'll catch you in the next one.